today I will be talking about why well, we doing a story time about when I move down south. Okay, that was the biggest move. Like I moved around a lot, but this is the big move. All right, so you know what I'm saying. It starts off from when my mom told, will call me and my brothers in the room, and we was talking, and she basically said we was gonna move down south. And we were going to move, no, she said we were going to move to South Carolina, a uh, part of South Carolina. I don't think I want to name that part. But anyway, it was part of South Carolina. And I didn't know how far South Carolina was. I was just like, oh, cool. And then she started trying to, you know, boost it, like really trying to like get us happy about it. So she was like, they talk funny there. They be like, hang, hang. They talk like that. They talk like that. They talk just like this. You know what I'm saying? They talk really country. And I was just like, oh, snap. They really talk like that. Can't wait to go there and see how they, you know, talk. So I was kind of excited. So, like, the next day, we had a going away party. All my family was there. We was, you know, laughing, crying, laughing, crying, having a good old time. Ooh, that light just, ooh. But anyway, we were just having a good old, good old time. Like, we was eating, you know, everybody cooked. You know, it was just, it was kind of happy and sad. So then, like, the night is kind of ending. And then we realizing, like, tomorrow morning, we're moving down south, like, straight like that. We're moving. So, it, like, started to hit us. Everybody, like, <gasps> you know, everybody crying like that, man. Just eat. Everybody just crying, you know what I'm saying? It's just super sad. The whole time, it was just... <gasps> <laughs> Everybody just crying, you know what I'm saying? It was really, it was the saddest day of my life. It was really sad, but it didn't really hit me until the next morning. Like I, I like me and my brothers, we got to stay whoever, at whoever apartment we wanted to. Like my family, they like live in a building. Like it's a lot of us. It's a lot of us. So they live in that building. I'm not gonna, you know, tell you the city I'm from. Wait. Y'all can figure it out. It's probably in my about thing. But anyway, I'm from New Jersey, and that's where I was at. And all my family live in the building. So, you know, when we was leaving, everybody just waving on their balcony. It just looks so sad. And I swear the day in my head, it was just so foggy and gloomy outside. All my family on the balcony waving by. Well, see you later, you know what I'm saying? And it's just so sad. Like, we waving, beeping the horn as hard as we can. Waving like, ah, ah, bye. Like, super sad. Like, it was just so freaking sad. It was the saddest day ever. Like, I didn't even want to leave, to be honest with you. It was just. Mm -mm. But anyway. Then when we got to, we took a Greyhound to south carolina we took six buses to get there and when we got dropped off it looked like we was dropped off in the middle of nowhere if y'all remember that scene from meet the browns the movie you know with angela bassett yeah i think that's her name and they got dropped off from chicago to georgia but we ain't hear nothing but they got dropped off in the middle of nowhere. And the little girl was like, like we're about to see a slave any minute. That's exactly how I felt. And that's exactly how it looked. It looked deserted. Nobody lived there. Old little broken down stores. Like, it was just old looking and deserted. And nobody lived there. You know what I'm saying? It looked like a ghost town. I'm like, where the heck are we? Like, bruh, let's just get right back on them buses. And you know what I'm saying? Let you go, let you go back. You know what I'm saying? Let you go back. But anyway, I think we left on the Saturday morning and got, because you know the layovers and all that on the buses, but we got to wait for the other bus to get there. So Saturday morning to Sunday morning on buses, that was annoying. And you know, a single mother and her three young kids, you know what I'm saying? Her nine-year-old, her seven-year-old, and her 13-year-old with suitcases, We two, you know what I'm saying? That's a lot. Taking six buses to South Carolina, like it was a, it was a lot. But then we walk, we came, my uncle came up from out of nowhere, and we walked, and then we caught a ride with some another family member. I don't know, I can't remember, but made it to his house. His house was big and blue, and I was, 
Yeah, it was big and blue. It was really big. And I remember walking in and I had seen my three cousins, Brandy, Charity, and Quinto. Uh, yeah, the, they was like hyper and just running around. And my little brother, if y'all know my little brother, he was hyper and bad. They called him Pop-Up the Destroyer, so... He was already destroying stuff, so he was, you know, hyper. My older brother, you know, he was cooling, like he was like talking to everybody, cause he not shy. Me, on the other hand, if if y'all know me, Lil Blue Fleezy was shy as heck. Like, you couldn't get me to talk. It take me a couple months. It's like, now it take me a couple of days. You know what I'm saying? Then we was like regular cousin. You feel me? We we played, we argued, we fought. Like we fought, fought. Me and Quintel, we fought a lot. Like, we cool now. Everybody be like, y'all so cool now. Y'all used to fight a lot. It was just like regular. Like, like half my life with all my cousins on my mom's side, we grew up together, you know what I'm saying? You know, we fought too, and we played, and we just so close, you know what I'm saying? But then, over here, this still my mom's side. It's just, you know what I'm saying? Cousins. Her cousins, which is my second cousins, I think that's how they go. But anyway, yeah, we you know we fought like regular cousins. You know we played or everything. You know what I'm saying? It was like brothers and sisters kind of. But anyway, yeah, that was like pretty much my story about how I moved down south. It was bittersweet. No, it was just bad because I can't live here. But anyway, I don't live in South Carolina anymore. But I'm just saying, I don't like being down south period but yeah that's my story time about when how i moved down south you know eh. make sure you know give this video a thumbs up don't forget to like it like it like it like it like it. i know y'all can like like this video because y'all been doing it you know what i'm saying y'all been hitting the like buttons like 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 y'all been doing that thing but anyway uh y'all been doing the thing thing you feel? anyway let me stop but um yeah so make sure y'all like this video so y'all can hear another story time about when i got jumped when i started school like not even two weeks in my new school in south carolina girls was already hating on me you know what i'm saying hating on the kid so, you know, but anyway <clears throat> like this video so y'all can hear another story time about when i got jumped you know what i'm saying by these two girls at my new school already it was crazy. So, but anyway, please subscribe. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Like, like, like. Give it a thumbs up. All haters can give it a thumbs down. And I'm out. Peace.